Good morning, Clive Enver, business strategist here. Let's uh, get this week off to a great start with some Monday morning motivation. And today, let's talk about focusing on what's important. And why am I picking focusing on what's important? Each and every week, I see posts out on social media platforms talking about having difficulty in finding how to present oneself to one's customers. That is, people are uncertain about who their customer is. They know they do all sorts of things and they're very excited about all the things that they can do, but they're having difficulty getting traction out there in the marketplace, having people come along and say, woohoo, I'd like to be part of that. Probably happens to everybody or damn near everybody. So what is it that, that causes this? We get excited when we start a business, I guess. And most people I know, when they started a business, they thought that they could help everybody. The horrible thing about that is, of course, that everybody turns out to be nobody. Because as customers, we have particular things that we want to achieve. And primarily what we want to achieve is a result to eliminate something which isn't quite right in our world. We want to change it. So we're looking for somebody who can tell us a story which will allow us to go, yes, we're in the right place. This is what we need. So that's the point of view of the customer. Now, the person in business very often is of the opinion that what they do can help everybody. So how do you get it right? Well, it actually takes a little bit of work because if we look at all the things that we're supposed to tell people, we're, we're supposed to make sure that we have our presence in, in the marketplace, we're supposed to present ourselves in some wonderful way that makes it all work, uh, we've got to protect our uh, personal space, we've got to have our pricing right, and of course within the business we've got to have our profitability right, and it goes on and on and on. There's a huge list of stuff we're supposed to do. So how do you identify who it is that you really, really want to work with? The really good thing about that is that that's what I do. I help people uh, view their business as their clients view their business. And to that end, um, I'm running a workshop on the 26th of October. How do I how to find and identify your ideal client? Now, through this workshop, what we're going to find is how you can identify your ideal client. There's not a lot of point identifying somebody else's ideal client for your business. Your business is very specific to you. It's very peculiar to you. And that is a big part of what attracts customers to you. There are many, many people doing the same thing that you do, apparently, yet there are people who will want to work with you over other people. Other people apparently doing the same thing as you. So it can become quite confusing. But what we'll work through in the workshop is how you can actually get it right how you can identify precisely who your customer is and have them come to you rather than go to somebody else. And when they come to you, know that they are coming to you because they believe you can provide the outcome that they're after. There's a link in the post beside this live. Uh, have a look at what's actually going on in my workshop and what you might achieve from it. Come on down, be delighted to see you there. There's a few spots left, so jump on it. But in any event, go out now and have an absolutely great week. Do the absolute best you possibly can, and you might be surprised at the results that you get.